Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and today we'll be reviewing the Halo mech suit and three random 1980s figures. I've been so stoked to review these. First on the list, we got Boss the Bounty Hunter from Star Wars Kenner. We got the Halo mech suit Spartan as well. We got the 1980s He-Man and the Master of the Universe Cyclone, which he is a bad guy. I did not know that. And we got a G.I. Joe self-prepared assault gunman. And this is my second G.I. Joe Real American Hero. And why am I reviewing four figures at once? Well, the reason why is... These figures are so amazing, I've been wanting to do them since I got them. But yeah, now it's been a minute, we're going to review each figure. We're going to start with our G.I. Joe. Here is our self-prepared assault gunman. He is really well sculpted and painted. Articulation, really well for this 80s style toy. Head is not on a ball joint. His arms can move due to movement. And yeah, and yeah, he's pretty cool looking. Look at how detailed he is. I love that. And I do have these special stands that can hold him up in his poses, which look pretty cool. I got these for collecting 1980s Joes and Star Wars Kenner figures. And I got them for cheap. So I'm definitely glad to be adding him to my collection. But before we're going to get down to comparison... With this G.I. Joe self repair gunman. Here is my only other 1980s G.I. Joe. Here is Quick Kick. And yeah, I got two 1980s Joes. And I'll be definitely looking for some more of these when I go to the toy show out in Century 3 area here in Pennsylvania. But look forward to adding some more to my collection. 1980s Joe's Rock. They're so much fun. Not as good as uh, the G.I. Joe Classifies, in my opinion, or G.I. Joe Sigma 6. But still pretty cool and awesome looking. I'm definitely stoked to be adding these to my collection. But yeah, now we're done with these two. We're about halfway through the video. Next on the list, we're going to look at our Masters of the Universe, Cyclone. And yes, he is a good-looking figure. Thing is, he's really loose on my copy. See? All loosey-goosey. Because I did get him from a flea market, and he did have some paint wear. He might have had paint on his chest, so I tried to repair that. But other than that, I did my best. But he'll definitely stay in my collection because he's an awesome 1980s G.I. Not G.I. Joe, Masters of the Universe bad guy. I'll definitely add him with my new Masters of the Universe. But before we end this video with him, let's compare him with the only other 1980s figure I own. Here is the 1980s Cyclone next to the bad guy himself. Self, it's Skeletor! And yes, I have Skeletor. He's an awesome looking figure. And that's all there is to say for Cyclone. We know that he's a bad guy. Next, we're going to be looking at the Star Wars Kenner figure. And we got this from the Lincoln Way Hub Antique Mall for 10 bucks. And this is from Star Wars Kenner from. The 1980s. Boss the Bounty Hunter. He's missing his gun. I got him cheap, so 10 bucks ain't too bad for this guy. I'll be keeping him in my collection. Oh, before okay. I move him out, articulation ain't much. These Kenner figures are very simple. That's all I'm going to say about Kenner. But I do have another Kenner to add to my Star Wars Kenner collection. He just looks awesome. Looking forward to adding them to my shelf. But now we're going to look at our final figure. And this is the Halo mech suit. And yeah, this is the Exo Squad 
figure. I forget what he's called until I get a that package in. Let's take a look at look at that tag. He is the Exo Suit Skyfire Exo Suit Squad. And yeah, I got one of these guys. I still need to get the brute to complete these Halo Exo Suits, but they are so awesome. This one's got a jet pack, so you can go like. He's got two pistols in this mech suit mode, and he go, eat this, combat hand, with those cannons. But now we're going to get down to comparison with the only other exosuit Spartan I own. It's this guy, and he's still amazing. Here is the original one I have, and this one. They both look good. Forward to be adding them to my shelf. But one final comparison, here is the Halo Infinity Groot, because bad guy, guys next to good guys, why not? But that's all there is to say for this video. If you enjoyed this video, much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.